This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software, Paramatch and Victorinox. Morning everybody from the comms box here. Welcome and uh, good to have Corey here of course. It is the return of domestic action here in Malta as of course it is going to be another exciting day of European cricket. Here we go then, Miguel up against Zishan Khan. First ball of the day. It's full and it swings away. Not a bad start for Miguel. Khan just in classic Zishan style. Gets the front leg out of the way and swings across the line. And again, this is going to fly away as this will be the first boundary of the morning. Wet conditions here, that races away. Short and pulled and that's going to be four runs. Nicely played. Oh, uh, this is dug out and he's going to get four. Miguel can't believe his luck. That was almost a perfect Yorker. Short and pulled. You don't bowl there to Zishan Khan. Launches this one into the leg side and that will be the first Maximo of the morning. Lofted into the leg side and that's going to be one bounce four through deep mid wicket. Televising a little bit. He's got to try and keep it outside off because that can happen. And that is six. Lovely shot. Yeah, nice pickup. Glorious pickup indeed. Well, this one gets hoiked away. That's gone all the way. As that's going to be six more. Zishan loves it. Happy feet, but this is hit firmly. This won't get cut off. That's going to be four runs. Races along the carpet. A lot of it is this is a Gundy delivery, and that's going to get whacked away. Might just want to check this side on just to have a little gander. Anyone else involved? This one hit away. Nicely played. Work to do. Doesn't oh, no. do it. And that's a bit of a bit of an ugly start to the morning, that, for uh, Wakas Khan as that one gets through. And it does exactly that. And this one's gone high in the sky. There is a fielder out in the deep, but he's lost it. And that's going to be one bounce, four run. And that is going to be up in the air. And this one will be taken as it's a nice catch in the end by the fielder out there. And that's a pretty nice bit of work in the end by Mihar, who at one point looks as if he didn't really pick this, but eventually just falls pretty safely. Uh, this is too full though, and it's going to split the gap. And as you go, there's that weird field having that deep, uh, having that mid wicket in. Comes down and absolutely tonks this down the ground. It's a teasing chance, but it doesn't end up coming to fruition for Marsa. It's going to be another Maximo for Ali. Oh, wow. Well, there's nothing that Johnny G can do about that one. That's going to be a no ball, and it's going to go down stupidly as four buys. If uh, and he picks this one nicely, and that's gone a long old way. Clean striking, that was. Just got timing more than went for power. And that's all you need to do, six runs. What are you saying? Right, as this one is up in the air, doesn't find the middle of the bat. Here we go again. Ah, oh, this time does take it. It's a, it's a good catch, and rightfully so, he gets the spike in, as eventually Ali goes for one too many, and he's going to have to make way. Bit of frustration just released there on our screens. It went miles in the air. Have to admit, I thought money on the ball as he hit it up. Uh, this one is going to get launched up high in the sky. It doesn't matter where you put your fielders because that's over them. Into the archery. Six runs. Well, speaking of proper cricket, this is good hitting. That splits the gap. Four runs. Told you this boy can bat. Nice shot. Oh, well, sometimes fortune favours the brave and he swings hard at this. Throws the kitchen sink and the rest of the semi-detached house and gets four. Uh, launched, and this is going to be six runs, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered for Gozo. Six more, moves on to the 127. The last ball potentially will be and does land it. It's in the block hole, can only push away. They'll think of two, and it's a misfield, and they'll come back comfortably. And you're right, Marsa just have not been at the races in the field, and it will mean that Gozo will get to 131 for two off the 10. One thirty-two, the target. And that's a glorious start. It's uh, over-pitched and pushes this into the offside through cover. And that will be the first boundary. What a start that is. Four runs. And that might be it. There is a deep mid-wicket, but just sails over his head. Lovely shot in the wheelhouse. Six to the total. And... Uh, well bowled, but equally well hit away. This is going to race away on this carpet, and even the long legs of Islam can't get him there. Four more. Yeah. 
Oh, is there a little sneak on this? There is. Mahad chases the wider one, and that's a really soft way to go. It was a wide ball that he chases, and Singh gets a little bit lucky there, and another one bites the dust. It's two down now. Oh, well, if he had actually played a miss, it'd be a wide. Swings away, and that's going to be sliced away for four. Oh, Timbers are gone as he drags this on to Mugao, and it's the old... Uh, Interesting battle of youth against experience and youth certainly winning this one as Islam picks up a wicket. One of the worst tape jobs in the world, by the way. This one up in the air, could be close, could be a chance. Does take it, but let's have a look at side on. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have a quick look at it. I think it's okay live. Yeah, Ooh. dipping. He's a tall man and he's also bending down there as well. Of course, I like being a caddy, actually. Yeah, I've heard that there's some stories <laughs> of... Oh, dear. Well, I've heard that there's some stories of some rough fielding. The worst zones. This could be a little tickle here, and it is, as Singh comes in and starts off beautifully. Good take behind the stumps. A simple one for Anwar, but he's still got to take them. And goes out. They are up and about it here this morning. Oh, there's a little feather wow. here as well, and that's... Uh, going to be gone as Sakar comes and goes and sings on a hat trick two in two that was weird I don't think I've seen three feather edges uh, to the keeper hat trick ball never mind <laughs> well it's a W it's just not the right W <laughs> <laughs> in a way off to the offside and that is going to be a boundary doesn't he swings from it could be gone here Oh, and he is, and he doesn't manage the game at all there, does the skipper. And Marsa, they lose their main man, and it's, well, it feels like they're going to have to try and climb the equivalent of Mount Everest now. Another one bites the dust. Up here, Fielder there, doesn't get near him, and oh, oh dear. No. It's an absolute failure, and should be goner and will be, as he teases with him, does Kassad, and that is... Uh, as you said, we picked it up, what, two balls ago, that this sort of nervy running tends to happen with the lower order, and that's a perfect example of it. Well, there's a run there. I mean, look, it's T10. You've got to be quick. He gets called through, and he's ball watching, and he says no. He spent more time putting his helmet on in this inning. Oh, there you go. And it was just a matter of time, really, for Khan, as unfortunately, well, we call it. It doesn't really look like someone who's been batting too often, and he plays all around this one. And the Timbers are gone. The castle's been rocked. It's a good delivery, to be fair. Nice Yorker. There we go. Full straight. You miss, I hit. Johnny Grimmer time. I'm excited. Shargil's got three. Massa imploding. But this man coming to the crease. Well, he's a bit of a popular figure. Can he do something? Well, it might uh -oh. not be. You might not even get another chance here, Johnny, as this one's up in the air. And that's going to be it. Done. Dusted. As that will be the last wicket to fall as uh, Johnny. Well, good for the old average. Not out, uh, but that's going to be the end. And Marsa get rattled and skittled for just 42 all out. Yeah, Marsa have imploded 42. They're going to be bowled out in 8.1. And overall, I have to say, well done to Gozo Zami. They came here with intent with the bat.